Um, you don't need any equipment today. This is all body weight stuff. My name is Vinny. This is my partner, Erica. I'm gonna be the one doing all the talking. She's gonna be doing the one doing all the work. And together, we're gonna kick your guys' butts today for a great little upper body and core workout. So, hope you guys are ready. Let's get this cranking, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, everyone. All right, so we're gonna start this off today, loosening everything up, getting you guys ready uh, to work out, and then I'm gonna be kicking your butts with some nice upper body and core workout today. Uh, this should be fun, high paced, very intense. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy it, all right? So we're gonna get started today with 30 seconds of arm circles. So go ahead and get those arms out to the side and get to circling. These can be big circles, little circles, fast, slow, don't care. Just keep the arms straight and keep them rotating this whole time. Margo, welcome to the party, lady. Good to see you. Hope you're here to work out. <clears throat> there you go, nice big circles the whole time. There you go. We'll be going for about 15 more seconds. Make sure you're doing a nice steady pace of breathing here. Go ahead and relax. Next up is going to be a personal favorite, the chicken wing. We're going to take our thumbs, place them right on the shoulders. We're going to pull those elbows back and then we're going to come from tucked into this bottom position all the way up into that top position. So tuck and roll. Get this going. We're going for about 30 seconds here. Nice big range of motion here. Try to come all the way from the top to the bottom. Woo! There you go. Good reps here. Make sure you keep breathing throughout. Keep those elbows moving as high up and as far down as they can possibly go. About five seconds left. You guys are doing great. And relax. Next on the agenda is gonna be side bends. So we're gonna get in a nice wide athletic position and we're going to push those hips out, reaching over to the side. We want to give a second Reach towards that wall as far as you can. Come back to neutral. Tilt and reach. There you go, guys. We got 30 seconds of this. Start tilting back and forth. Lean, reach, reach, reach. And then right back over, leaning towards the other side. There you go. And tilt, push those hips out and reach. Ellie, what's up, girl? Good to see you. Welcome to the potty. About five seconds left. Hi, hi. And relax. Next up is going to be wrist circles. Make some nice big fists, and we're going to be rotating both of our wrists. Nice big circles. You can go clockwise, you can go counterclockwise. Just keep them moving this entire 30 seconds. All right? You ready to work? She's ready to work. Hope you guys are ready to sweat along with Miss Erica today. <laughs> Definitely gonna get sweaty. Go ahead and relax. Next up, we're gonna pop down on the ground. We're gonna be on our knees and our hands. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those hands, we're gonna rotate them out until that middle finger is facing my knees. I'm gonna keep my arms straight and we're gonna rock back and forth into our wrists here, trying to loosen them up. So we're ready for most of this upper body work. Unfortunately, when we're doing upper body exercises with body weight, no equipment whatsoever, a lot of this stuff has to be on the ground. So we do end up putting a lot of stress on that wrist. So we really wanna make sure that that wrist is prepped and ready to go for whatever we're gonna be throwing at it. And this is one of the best things to really loosen that wrist up. A couple more seconds here. Make sure you're putting tension on and then releasing tension. We don't want to lean forward too much. We want to lean back far enough that that palm is about to come off the ground. And then we go right back to neutral. Go ahead and relax. Next up, we're going to be on the knees. Ugh. And our arms are going to be directly under the shoulder. So it's going to be wrist, elbow, shoulder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and push my shoulders away as far as I can. And then I'm going to try and come into my shoulders as deep as I can. So I'm gonna push away, and then I wanna tuck into my shoulders. Push away, and tuck into those shoulders. So go ahead and get on all fours. We're going to, can you turn to the side? You're going to push those shoulders away as far as you can. 
And then we're going to tuck them down in as far as we can. Push them away, around the back. Tuck your shoulders in. Try and get as deep into those shoulders as you possibly can. There you go. Looking good. Push it out. Nice. There you go. If this is a new movement to you, this is going to feel a little weird. Uh, learning to control your scapula, rear delts, things like that is very hard and doesn't come very naturally. So it's something we need to practice, and this is one of those things we do to teach ourselves how to use those muscles in the upper back. Go ahead and relax. Last up, we're going to be in that same starting position on all fours. I'll hush you. We're going to be on all fours. Hands are going to be planted into the ground. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one arm, I'm going to rotate it up towards the ceiling. I want to twist as hard as I can, pointing towards that opposite wall. And then we're going to come right back to neutral. Twist, pointing towards that opposite wall. So go ahead, get on all fours. We're going to take that top arm, you're going to rotate up towards me. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Rotate. Come back down to neutral, and then right back up. Woo! God, because I am very mobile. Maybe I should be more. There you go. Try and keep your chest flat. We don't want to open up the chest very much. If you end up sitting a lot of the day, you're at a desk a good portion of the time, you end up rounding that upper back a lot. This is one of those movements that helps open your chest up a great deal. You probably need to be doing this on a daily basis. There we go. Almost there. A few more seconds. And go ahead and relax. Oh, so that's going to be it for our warm-up, guys. If you are following along for the workout today, make sure you share this video. That is the only button that helps us out. So make sure you slash that share button, and we can get as many people seeing this as we possibly can, all right? Uh, so today, we're going to be working with three primary movements for this first series of exercises. The first exercise is going to be a push-up which you can do from your knees or your toes. And we're going to be in a standard push-up position, which is going to be just wider than shoulder distance apart. All right, we don't want to be super wide here, just wider than shoulder width apart. And those elbows are going to be coming down towards my body, not out and away from my body. All right, so we can do these either kneeling or in our toe position. So on the toes, elbows are going to be coming back. We want to try and touch the chest to the ground, and then we're going to press all the way up. If you can't do this from your toes, you can do this from your knees, in which we will get in the standard push-up position and simply drop the knees to the ground, and that's the position we want to be in to simulate that kneeling push-up position. That's exercise one. Exercise number two is going to be a pike, in which we start in the push-up position, flat, and I'm going to kick back as far as I can, driving my heels into the ground, tucking my head between my shoulders into a V, and then right back to that flat push-up position. So you'd be going from flat to pipe to flat. Sonny Moss, I hope you're here to work out, son. Good to see you. So our first move is a push-up. Second movement is a pipe. Our third movement is going to be a heel tap, in which we will be on our backs. Oh. Feet are going to be planted. I want to try and lift up until my shoulder blades are off the ground, and I'm going to take my hands and I'm going to try and reach as far down my foot as I possibly can, twist over, and tap the other side of my heel. Oof. But I really need to try and keep those shoulder blades up off the ground as much as I can. So this first round that we're going to be going through is going to be a slow pace, kind of give you guys some practice so you can learn the movements. And then we're going to get into some much faster paced rounds where we still really start cranking it up. And we're also going to put some more difficult exercises in there that are based off of those three major movements. All right. So what we're going to be starting off with first is going to be a push-up. All right. So we're going to be going for about 30 seconds of push-ups here. So make sure you pace yourself for a strong 30 seconds. All right. You ready, Miss Erica? Heck yeah, hope you guys are ready too. We're gonna try and do this from the toes if you can, knees if you need to, all right? You ready? Yes. All right guys, we're gonna be starting here in 10 seconds, so go ahead and get on your floor. Make sure you got plenty of space here, and we're gonna be cranking these push-ups out in no time. Get ready, and push-ups, chest to the ground, 
all the way down, all the way up, hip full extension here. If you can't quite hit your chest to the ground, drop to your knees. I really want that full range of motion here. Now, there's going to be no rest here. As soon as we get done with our push-ups, you're going to roll over and we're going to go right into those plank heel taps. All right? So as soon as we hit this next couple of seconds, we're going to roll it over. Ryan Hill, good to see you. I hope you're here to work out too. Rolling on over. We're going to get those shoulder blades off the ground and we're trying to tap those heels down the leg as far as we possibly can. There you go. Keep that core engaged. Reach deep into those feet and keep moving. As soon as we're done with this, we're rolling right over into our pikes. So flat push-up position into that V position and then back down to flat. Five seconds left. Get ready to roll. And we're rolling over. Pike position up into that full plank. There we go. Push up. Up into that pike. Very good. Flat, try and keep a nice steady pace with Miss Erica right here. Now, as soon as we're done with this, back into those plank heel taps. And this was our slow, easy round. There you go, looking good, E. Short time left. And heel taps. Now, this is a whole minute here, so I want you guys to pace yourself nice. Slow, steady pace. This is where we're really going to start building the burn in that abdominal region. Now that was our first round, that was our demo round. Our second, third, and fourth round are going to be much faster. It's going to be 12 seconds of push-ups, 20 seconds of pikes, and then I believe 30 seconds of the uh, heel taps here. And we're going to go through that for three cycles. So it's going to be very fast changes, so make sure you're ready, we're watching the timer, and you change positions very quickly. I want to try and keep those heart rates up here, and we're really going to try and burn you guys out nice and well, alright? How this feeling, E? A oh, minute of those gets kind of tough. We've got 10 seconds left, and then we're into 12 seconds of fast push-ups, alright? Trying to bang out as many as we can within this 12 seconds. Get ready, push-ups, let's go, bang them out. You're trying to get as many push-ups as you can within this 12 seconds here. There you go. Not pikes yet. <laughs> see? See what I did there? And here we go. No pikes, pikes, pikes. Right into the pikes. Nice steady pace. Oh my god, someone's calling me. And right into those heel taps. Sorry we lost you guys. I think someone tried to call me like a jerk. Don't ever call anybody. Just text them. There we go. We're going for those heel taps. As soon as these heel taps are done, we're going to be going right back into our push-ups for 12 seconds. Get ready. Push-ups. Roll. And push. Fast pace. 12 seconds. As many as you possibly can here. There we go. Robin, what's up, lady? Welcome to the party. Here you go. Bang them out. You can drop to your knees if you need to. Pikes. Rocking into a pike. Right back into flat. Now, if you hit failure while you're doing your push-ups, feel free to drop to your knees. That is perfectly fine. And recommended if you cannot hit a full range of motion push-ups from your toes. Getting ready for those plank heel taps. Roll it on over. Pike heel taps. Pike, no, just heel taps. Just <laughs> making words up now. Keep that core engaged. Don't just tap your heel. Really try to reach as far down that foot as you possibly can. There you go. There we go. Keep that core engaged. Now we have one more round of this, and then we will be changing up our exercises. So we have push-ups coming up. Get ready. Push up. Bang them out, chest to the ground. If you hit failure, drop to your knees. There you go, bang them out, E, bang them out, E, drop. Keep pushing. Three seconds, then we're in the pikes. Pike it out. There we go, nice and easy. Full range of motion here, come nice V, and then right back to flat. There we go, looking good. Keep breathing, keep breathing. You guys keep breathing at home too, keep that work going. After this, we're rolling on into our heel taps. 
Heel taps. Now you have 45 seconds here, so pace yourself. Now while we're doing this, I'm going to explain how those two first exercises are going to change. So our push-up and pike are both going to change to wide hand position this time. So as opposed to just being right outside your shoulders, we're going to be four inches out on each side and your hands are going to be rotated out slightly at about 45 degrees. So we're going to try and do our push-ups in a wide hand position and our pikes are also going to be in a wide hand position starting with push-ups in five seconds. You ready? So nice and wide, hands tilted out slightly, chest to the ground, pressing right back up. If you need to do this from your knees, feel free to do it from your knees, but try and keep moving this entire time. Wide pikes, so same hand position, rocking right into our pikes. There you go. She's working hard. I hope you guys are working half as hard as Miss E is right here. She's kicking some butt. Now our heel taps are going to remain the same. There you go, keep pushing, keep pushing. Heel taps, and we're gonna go through that cycle three times. Now if you're working hard like Eric is, you should be getting dehydrated, so keep drinking water, all right everybody? Mm. Oh, my shoulders. Man, I'm tired. Keep working, 10 seconds. And then we're going right back to those wide push-ups. Three seconds, go ahead and get ready for those push-ups. Wide push-ups, everybody, nice and wide. Hands tilted out slightly. That's gonna take some stress off of those shoulders. Feel free to drop to those knees, just try to get as many reps as we possibly can. Pikes, same wide hand position here. Kick into that, ooh boy, here we go. Keep rocking, E, you are looking good, little mama. Come on. 10 seconds left, keep it moving. Five left, rocking into those heel taps. There we go. Make sure you're keeping those shoulder blades off the ground as much as you can. Keep that up, the higher we can get those shoulder blades, the more pressure we can get on those abdominals and keep trying to touch those heels. You better be reaching. I need those obliques working. You need to be tilting as much as you possibly can, guys. Keep it up. We have one more round of our wide push-ups. Get ready. Push-ups, let's do it. Make sure those hands are tilted out. You're trying to get that chest to the ground. Keep rocking, 12 seconds, as many reps as you possibly can. Pikes, there we go. Keep that same nice wide hand position. Rock it back, driving those, ooh, excuse me, driving those heels into the ground. There you go, E, piking. Back to flat. We have one final round of those crap, or heel taps. Go ahead, right on your back, tapping those heels. 45 seconds here, so pace yourself. Move slow, this is your chance to rest. If you need a second to grab some water, this would be the time. But if you can keep moving, keep moving, all right? Our next two exercises for our push-up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start in the push-up position. I'm going to kick back into a pike and then dive through and up, and then kick back into a pike. Dive through and up, back into a pike. That's gonna be our push-up position. Our pike, we're gonna come into a push-up position tap the opposite knee, and then come back in to a push-up. So right here, we're gonna dive bomb through, oh no. dive bomb through, and then kick right back up. Dive bomb through, kick right back up. William! Now we're going for an opposite knee tap, tap, back down to flat, tapping, and right back. Coming back to a flat push-up position the whole time, and then tapping the opposing knee, essentially coming up and back with a single arm. There you go, you're looking good. Good to see all you guys, welcome to the party. And then right into those heel taps. We're looking good guys, looking good, working hard. Keep breathing, keep working guys. Everybody looking good? Keep breathing, you guys are awesome. Now we're gonna be going into those dive bombers next. How was the abs feeling? <laughs> Great. And dive bombers. 
So today, I wanted to take a little stress off of the upper body, and I wanted to make today's workout a little more core oriented. What? So, onto our knee, our knee taps flat, knee tap. So, as this workout progresses, we're going to become more and more core orientated. So, I hope you guys are nice and ready to have a six pack after this workout. JK, it'll just be hidden a little bit for some of you guys. So, next up with those heel taps. Tap and let's do it. Shoulder blades up and off the ground. We're really trying to tap those heels to the best of our abilities. There you go, guys. Keep rocking. We only have what? One more round, right? One more round. There you go. Keep working. Come on, you got it. So back into those dive bombers. This is our last round of dive bombers. Really trying to use the fullest range of motion here that you possibly can. Diving all the way through, kick those hips back, right back on through. There we go. Opposite knee taps, plank, knee tap. There we go. Kicking those hips back as much as we can, using one arm as a time as we come up. There we go. Looking good, you looking good. Keep it up, guys. We are almost there. Down, rest, rest, yes. That was just 11 minutes of just constant movement. You guys just did a great job through the first round. Good job, guys. If you enjoyed the first round, you're having fun with the workout, make sure you share the video. That's what helps us grow as a channel. So if you're looking to help us grow and to have us continue doing these videos, slap that share button if you're having a good time. If not, it's okay. I'm going to still kick in your butt anyway. So our next round, stick with that same theme, three exercises that we're going to be cycling through. <laughs> Her hair just fell down. It looks awesome. But we're going to be cycling through three exercises. So the first thing we need to do is introduce you to those three exercises, and then we'll get you guys to some butt kicking. All right. So exercise number one is going to be the reverse plank. All right. So we're going to start this one off on our butts. Hands are going to be directly under my shoulder, so shoulder, elbow, wrist, all in a straight line. Feet are going to be out, and I'm going to be on my heels. And what we're going to do is we're going to flatten out into this flat plank position here. I'm not sagging at my hips. I'm trying to push my hips up towards the ceiling, holding this position as tight as I can. So our first exercise is simply holding that position. Our second exercise is going to be a half sit-up in which we will lay on our backs, legs will be bent, we will point towards the ceiling, and I will sit up ugh, until the shoulder blades leave the ground, and then we come right back to the ground. Stay pointed, reach and squeeze, right back down. Reach and squeeze, right back down. I don't want you swinging your arms here. Keep your arms pointed towards the ceiling the whole time. That's gonna keep more tension on your core and make you work harder. And our third and final exercise is going to be the six inch hold. So what you're gonna do is we're gonna lay on our backs, hands are gonna be directly under my hips, chin is gonna be in my chest the whole time, and we're gonna hold our legs six inches off of the ground, all right? So this first round is not gonna be a whole lot of movement, it's gonna be a lot of holding, but we still wanna try and keep that intensity high and keep those positions in the hardest position that we possibly can the entire time. Brittany! What's up guys? You ready? Yes. Hope you guys at home are ready too. We're going to be starting off with the reverse plank and then going on into our half sit up. All right? You ready? All right guys. So we're going to be starting here in about 10 seconds. Hope you guys are ready. Hit like, hit share, send bananas. Let's do it. So in that reverse plank position, get ready. And hips up, press them up. There we go. Try and keep that chest up towards the ceiling. We want a nice flat body position right here. And we're just holding this position. The first round is gonna be for 30 seconds each. So make sure we're keeping those hips up the whole time. Keep pressing through those legs. Keep your core tight. Keep that butt tight the entire time. There you go. As soon as we're done with this, we're going into those half 
sit-ups. So feet planted on the ground, hands reach up towards the ceiling, crunching up, engaging those abs as much as you can. We're just trying to get those shoulder blades off of the ground, and then we're coming right back down. There you go. Now after this is going to be our six inches in which your hands will be under your hips, chin will be in the chest, and your legs will be straight out in front of you, six inches off of the ground. Hands under the hips, chin to the chest, six inches. This is beautiful. Just hold that position, try and keep those legs straight, and keep breathing as you're doing this. There you go, keep that chin in the chest. Ooh, that core is gonna be burning. You're gonna notice this round is a lot more core orientated, and you are gonna be burning because of it. So as soon as we get done with this, back to those quarters, or those half sit-ups. Not the hold? Nope. Plant those feet. We have one minute here, so pace yourself. If you need a second to get a little sip of water, this is gonna be your second. After we get done with this minute, we're gonna get into some super high intensity stuff. We're gonna be doing 12 seconds of our reverse plank, 20 seconds of the six inch hold, and then finally, 25 seconds of our half sit-ups. We're gonna cycle through that for three rounds, and then we're gonna start modifying everything to make it more difficult. So, hope you guys are ready for that. Keep cranking, keep breathing. We're gonna start building that acid in the abs. We're gonna try and crank those out, burn those muscles out. There we go, 20 seconds left. As soon as this 20 seconds is up, we're gonna be going into our reverse plank for a 12 second hold. So go ahead and get ready to get in that position. We got five seconds left. You ready, Miss E? Hope you guys are ready at home. Get in that reverse plank position. Flat, pull those hips up as high as you can. Try and push those shoulders and arms away from you. Hips should be up as high as we can. You can flex your quads and your tummy here. Go into six inch hold, six inches. Hands under the hips, chin to the chest, feet are out. Hold it, make sure you're breathing here. Steady breaths in, steady breaths out. 10 seconds left. There you go, you're looking good, looking good. Going on to those half sit-ups, plant those feet, hands towards the ceiling, and we are reaching. Oh, let that noise out, whatever noise that is. Oh, the one where your abs start burning really bad. This is probably gonna be it right here. So keep pushing. After this eight seconds is up, we're gonna be going into our reverse hold. So keep breathing, we're almost there, Eddie. And reverse hold. Hips are up as high as we can get them. Open that chest up towards the ceiling, really trying to push those shoulders away, keeping that core as tight as we can. Six inches, hold it. Hands under the hips, chin to the chest, legs straight. Fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it. There we go, looking good, guys. Good job, guys. <laughs> Did you sneeze? Oh, bless you. <laughs> Keep pushing, guys. Here we go, going for those half sit-ups. We play this little game in our house that every time someone sneezes or coughs, we just go pew pew. <laughs> oh, you know, the coronavirus. Okay, anyway, keep going, you're doing great. <laughs> Quarter sit-ups, we have one more round of each of those exercises, and then we will be making slight modifications to make sure we make those things more difficult. Pops, are Giovanni and Connie watching? I miss those guys, I feel like I haven't seen them in forever. Reverse plank, chest up, chin back, chest towards the ceiling, keep fighting this as much as you can, nice strong plank position. Going on to those six inches, what? My hamstrings aren't gonna explode or anything. Good, fighting this, hold this position, hands under the hips, chin in the chest, make sure that chin stays in your chest, that keeps the pressure on the front half of our bodies. Keep breathing, keep working guys, you're doing great. And half crunches. This is for 45 seconds, so make sure you're pacing yourself here. Lala, thank you for the like, appreciate it very much. Thanks, I hope you're enjoying the workout. So, for our next round, our two exercises are going to turn into knee to chest exercises. Brian, what's up man, hope you're here to work out. So, our reverse, plank position, we will be planked, and what you're gonna do is we're gonna lift one knee 
into the chest as much as we possibly can. And with our six inches, we're going to do the, one, the same thing. Hold our six inches and just simply pull one knee into your chest, alternating at each time. So we're going to go into our reverse plank, knee to chest. Right here, trying to keep those hips up as much as we can. Yeah, this is a doozy. If you need those legs bent a little bit to take some pressure off, you can. Now, six inches, same thing, legs out, one knee into the chest, and then we're right back in, alternating legs, keeping a nice, steady, quick pace the entire time. Crunch, get that abdominal crunch as we pull that knee in, and extend right back out. Now, after this, we're going right back into that half sit up, same old, same old. Feet planted, hands up, crunch it up. If you're not feeling your abs right now, you're not working hard enough, Slim, so get pushing. Let's go, guys. Keep it working. Uh, Woo! My neck. Burn them out. Let's go. Reach. Reach. You guys are looking good. Keep it up at home. George Torres, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Keep it up, guys. Keep working. Reaching, reaching. On to those reverse plank, knee to chest here. Keep those hips up as much as we can. Tuck in that single knee into the chest. If you need to, tuck your feet closer to your body and this movement will get easier. Six inches, knee to chest. Tuck, right back in. Alternating, trying to get that good abdominal crunch as we come in. There we go, we looking good, looking good. Alternating, one leg in, one leg out. There we go, getting a good system going on here. This is a very good rhythm here. Going on to those half sit-ups, plant those feet. Reach towards the ceiling and get it up. Burn those abs out. I don't want you to be able to sneeze tomorrow. Your abs hurt so freaking bad. There we go. Keep pushing. There we go. Keep reaching up, reaching up. Welcome to the party, guys. Hope you're here to work out. We are doing half sit-ups right now. Keep reaching. You're doing great. After this, back into that reverse crunch. Knee to chest. Hips up. Tucking that knee into the chest, condensing the abs as we're coming into that upright position. Extend it right back out. You're doing great, knee. Keep it up. We're almost there, lady. Woo! And six inches knee to chest. Flatten back out. Tuck, out, tuck, out. There we go. Alternating each time. Making sure to keep that knee in the chest, or chin in the chest. Tucking those knees in every time. Getting a good, good clean squeeze of those abdominals. Keep pushing it. Half sit up right here. That was it for that round. Now we're gonna be switching those two primary exercises. For the reverse plank, we're gonna be doing chest taps. So we're gonna be in that reverse plank position. You're gonna pick one hand up, tap the opposing chest, right back to that reverse plank. You're gonna to need to twist a little bit to get in that position, but it should feel great. The six inches exercise, we're going to do leg lifts. You'll keep both legs out at six inches. We'll lift them up to 45 degrees and then back down to that six inches position. So we're going to be starting off. Lucy, thank you for the light. Hope you're enjoying the workout. So back to that reverse plank position. And we're going to be tapping the opposing chest. Tap. Tap. Oh, yeah, this is going to be tough. You're going to want to have your feet a little wider than usual here. And you're going to want to make sure you're keeping your core tight as we're rotating, tapping that chest. Back to flat. Six inches on the leg lift, right back down. We want to keep a nice steady pace here, moving quickly both up and down, keeping that chin in the chest, keeping pressure on that core the whole time. Moving well, Lee, looking good. There you go, keep breathing. If you haven't already, make sure you like and share the video onto those quarter sit-ups. There you go, reaching towards the ceiling. All we're looking for here is getting those shoulders just off of the ground. Keep your breathing going, nice steady pace of breathing the entire time we're repping here. There you go, you're looking good. 10 seconds left, and then we're back into those reverse plank chest taps. There we go, reaching up, getting a good squeeze of those abs. Reverse plank, nice wide feet position here, rocking over, tapping that opposing chesticle, and then right back to flat. Looking good, E. Three seconds left, leg lifts. Go ahead and get it, guys. Hands under the hips, chin to the chest, throwing those legs up as much as we can, getting that stress on the abdominals. Throw those legs down as hard as you can if you want a little extra stress here. There we go, guys. Keep it up, looking good. On to those half sit-ups. Switch. 
Hands up. We're trying to reach here. Keep that pressure on those abs going here. There we go. Keep reaching. Keep breathing the whole time. Make sure you're not swinging your arms. We want to keep them reached. We want to reach up just enough so those shoulder blades are leaving the ground. And then you come right back down. Five seconds left, guys. We have one more round here. So reverse plank. Tapping those shoulders, tap it, hips up. This is it, guys. Finish strong, finish raw. Let's go, keep it cranking. Keep those feet nice and wide, rocking back and forth. Last set of leg lifts here. Hands under the hips, legs straight, straight up, straight down. There we go. Looking good, Ian, looking good. And keep that chin in the chest. Keep breathing, you gotta make sure you're breathing this entire time. Do not hold your breath. Almost there, guys. You are working hard right now. Down. Rest. Oh my goodness, indeed, those abs should be burning right now. So I hope you guys are enjoying that burn. If you are enjoying the burn, make sure you slap that share button or like or share and like or share, like, and comment or all three. Who knows? All right? So that was it for the majority of our work today. What I have left for you guys is what I refer to as the finisher or the burnout. It is a tough little series of exercises I keep for the very end that I intend to bring your muscles to failure realistically. So what we're gonna do is a half rep, a whole rep, and a hold of a side crunch, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay you guys out on your sides, the bottom arm is gonna be out to the side, top arm is gonna be reaching up, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a half crunch. So I'm just gonna sit up a little bit, and then right back down. Sit up a little bit, right back down. I'm gonna sit up just enough so that shoulder comes off the ground, right back up. Shoulder comes up, right back down. That's our first, that is our half sit up. The full sit up, I'm gonna push through this hand, and we're gonna sit up, until this arm is fully extended and I'm up, pointing at about a 45 degree and then coming right back down. Sit up, push through that bottom hand, right back up, half sit up. The final one is going to be a hold in which we will sit in this 45 degree position and you will hold that position. So we're gonna do 15 seconds half, 15 seconds full, and then finally a 15 second hold and then we'll get 10 seconds to switch sides. And we're probably gonna do that for about a thousand times. I really don't know, it's whatever the timer says. Give me that evil look. So I hope you guys are ready to get your butts kicked at home. Go ahead and find your spot on the floor. We're gonna get this started. Are you ready, little lady? I guess so too. Hope you guys are ready to work. Go ahead and lay on the side. Both legs are gonna be bent back. The bottom arm should be out in front of you. And we're gonna start off, so out in front, there you go. So we're gonna start off with those half sit ups where we're just gonna sit up enough so the shoulder blade just comes, or the shoulder just comes off the ground. Sound good? All right guys, we're gonna get started here in 10 Echo Schmecks, and then we're gonna get you guys going. All right, so legs bent on the side, arms out in front, we're sitting up half, just enough for that shoulder to leave the ground, and then right back down. We're trying to get a good little squeeze right in here. Always squeeze. And then right, always squeezing something. <laughs> you silly goofers wanna make sure you're squeezing. Now we're gonna sit up all the way, push through that arm, extending up, and then we're sitting right back down. Push through the arm, extend up, try and point that arm to 45 degrees, and then right back down, there you go. Woo, extend that bottom arm. Now we're gonna hold, Hold that top position. We're pushing off the bottom arm. I want this arm pointed at about 45. We're squeezing our muscles right here as tight as we can. Oh, holding that position. After this timer is up, you guys are gonna switch sides. You got 10 seconds to do it. Switch. Flippy flip on over. There we go. Hand out to the side, reaching up towards the ceiling. And half sit ups, just enough for those shoulders to leave the ground. There we go. We are working those obliques right here. That side body, your serratus is just getting destroyed right now, guys. Keep it up. Now we're going for the full sit-up. 
pulse it up, extend that bottom arm, coming right back down, extend and push, right back down. You guys are looking great. Keep it up at home. Hope you're keeping up with Miss Erica right here. We're doing side crunches right now. And we're gonna be looking for a hold, two, hold it. Hold that top position, bottom arm should be extended. We should be flexing that tricep, really trying to squeeze those middle side abdominals right here. There you go, Eve. Hold it, keep it tight. You guys are looking good. Down, go ahead and switch positions. That was round one. We have two more to go. Laying on the side, half. Shoulders just coming off the ground, sitting right back down. Now I don't want you pushing through the arm too much right here. I want most of that to be a contention of those abdominals. There we go, Oof. there we go, squeeze. All the way up, push through that hand, extending all the way, reaching up, there we go, 45 degree reach. Notice that point and reach, there we go, looking good, E. Come on, squeeze it, right back down. Squeeze, and hold. Try and lean back a little bit. There you go. Keep that, keep that squeeze. We're pointing too far up. We're not gonna be able to squeeze those abdominals. So point to that 45. Really try and squeeze those muscles the best you possibly can. Dumbna, switch. Woo! You guys are doing great so far. Hope you're keeping up with Miss Erica right here. She is kicking some butts. Half sit-ups. Good. We're just trying to get that shoulder off the ground just. Trying to squeeze those side muscles as tight as we can. There you go, we are looking good, guys. Keep it up at home. All the way up, press through that hand, extend all the way up to the top, and then right back down. Here we go. Looking good, you looking good. Keep breathing, keep breathing, and hold it. There you go, all the way to the top. Extend fully, squeeze as tight as you can, point to that 45 degrees, keep those abs tight. Nice. Poulter, what up, Kate? Good to see you, man. Go ahead and switch sides up. I'm gonna be right on the side. Arms out in front, legs should be bent, and we're going to be reaching up. Reach it! There we go. Just trying to get that shoulder blade off the ground. Good squeeze of those middle abs. There you go, push it up. Right back down. There you go, up and squeeze. 